Hi guys, welcome to this next segment of 7 Minutes with Seema. This one is actually for prenatal yoga, so it's not going to work for everybody. But the good news is um, you still will get open hips even if you're not pregnant. And it's um, a slightly modified flow, so if you're a little bit newer to yoga, perhaps this will be a little bit better for you. So go ahead and come into a cross-legged position. By the way, it's going to be really hard to fit in everything I want in 7 minutes. So perhaps there will be you know, more than one if you let me know that you like it. So sitting cross-legged, take your left hand just outside of your left hip. Bend your elbow, reach your right arm over your ear, opening up through your right side body. Keeping your right uh, sit bone grounding down and relaxing your left shoulder away from your ear even as you lean over. And then coming back up through center, placing your right hand down, reaching your left arm over your ear, opening up here. Nice. And again, relaxing your right shoulder away from your ear, opening up through your left side body. And then coming back. Left hand down, right arm over your ear, opening up. You can keep your eyes closed or you can gaze up under your right shoulder. Some of you may just want to let your head hang so you get a nice stretch in your, your um, neck as well. So I'm just letting go. Any of those options should be a nice release. And then coming back, right hand down, left arm over your ear. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you're wondering what's on my face, I had a mole taken off, so I have this lovely tape here. And I'll probably have it here for a few more weeks, so you may have to get used to it. And then coming back up through center, and then come on to all fours. Great. From here, go ahead and just tuck your toes under, lifting up and back. Downward facing dog. Shake your head yes, shake your head no, pedal your feet. Just moving around here. Great. And then inhale, lift your right leg up and back. Bend your knee, open up through your hip. Take three big circles, just moving around here. Trying to just open up through your hip. And then go in the opposite direction, moving around. Great. And then lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Drop your back knee down. Take your right hand to the outside of your right foot. And then just work on straightening your right leg. Dig your right heel into the ground, micro bend in your right knee. Walk it back to the front of your mat. Lifting up to your fingertips. You can also use blocks if that feels better. The foot is over a little bit wider to compensate for your belly. So if you're still in the first trimester, you don't need all that room. You're free to move your foot closer back in. Again, bending your right knee, digging that right heel down, and really pulling your right thigh back so you get the stretch in your lower back. And then walk it forward as you breathe out, lifting to your fingertips or to a block. One more time. Walk it back, digging your heel down. And again, making room for the growing belly. If there's no belly yet, you can move the foot closer. And then walking forward. Plant your hands down, stepping back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to a plank. Exhale, drop to your knees. Go ahead and from here you're going to bend your elbows, depending on where you are in your pregnancy, one or two inches. Inhale, push back up. Exhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Nice deep breathing. Inhale, lift your left leg up and back. Bend your knee, open up through your hip. Three big circles, just moving it around. Great, and then go in the other direction. You can kind of hear my hip popping actually here. I've been doing a lot of running myself. And then lifting your left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Drop your right knee down. And then take your left hand to the outside of your left foot. Slowly start to walk your left foot back, or lengthen your left leg, bend your left knee, dig your left heel into the ground. And again, the left foot's wider, just compensating for the growing belly. And then exhale, walk it forward. You can lift up onto your fingertips or use blocks under your hand. Great. And then inhale, walk it back. Keeping that micro bend in your left knee, digging your left heel down. And walking back. Great. One more time, walk it back. 
Digging your heels down. And walk it back. Take your hands to the inside of your left foot and then stepping it back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, breathe forward, plank pose. Exhale, drop to your knees. And again, you bend your elbows one or two inches. Take a big breath in here and push back up and exhale back down or facing dog. Keeping your feet this hip width apart, slowly walk up to the top of your mat, connecting from heel to toe with each step. The closer you get, if you're still feeling tightness in the back of your legs, of course, bend your knees. Once you get to the top of your mat, keeping your feet hip width apart, actually mine are a bit wider probably, an extra fist distances, you can slowly start to sway here, shaking your head. Not shaking it, rather, just swaying a little bit side to side. And then bend your knees and slowly roll on up. Great. And again, given our time, um, I'm going to end with a little series that I love to do just for strengthening the legs. So whenever you are pregnant, you lose a lot of your abdominal muscles. Obviously, you have to compensate for strengthening your low back and your glutes to come to hold the extra weight in the front, right? And, it, and as you're... Um, you're increasing the lordotic curve, right, as this the belly increases. So this is a great way to keep um, some stability happening in the posterior chain as the belly grows, right? And I've been here before, most of you know that. Inhale, breathe your arms up. Exhale, squat down. Take your hands into a prayer. Send your weight towards the back. So you're pressing through the balls of your feet and your heels, but you're lifting the toes up if you can and really distributing the weight between the inner and outer arches evenly. And probably a little bit more weight into the heels. And as you do that, you're going to feel, hopefully, your glute fire up. Great. And then take your hands to your knees, draw your chin into your chest, and roll on up. Inhale, breathe your arms up. Exhale, squatting down. So again, sending the weight back, floating the toes off the ground, pressing through the heels a little bit more than the balls of the feet, but evenly through the inner and outer arches of the feet. So the knees stay tracking straight forward. Great. Take your hands to your knees, chin into your chest, and round on up. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, squatting down. Again, sending the weight into your heels, inner and, um, inner and outer arches evenly. Heels taking a little bit more. Great. Hands to your knees, round on up. All right, you guys, sorry it was so short, but if you do want more videos for this particular time in your life, please comment or share the video. Let me know that you're watching it um, so I would make more because obviously um, it's a special time in your life and it's not every day that you're pregnant. So thanks for checking in. 